I'm writing to her to formally uh, request that she respects the view of the Scottish Parliament. What we're dealing with now is not a request from me or the SNP or even just the Scottish Government. This is the will of the Scottish Parliament. Now, if she uh, refuses to enter into those sensible discussions, as I anticipate in the letter that she might, uh, what I've said very clearly is this. Uh, in my view, the will of the Scottish Parliament must be respected. It's a question not of if it is respected, but how. And if the Prime Minister chooses not to do that, then I will set out to Parliament over the next few weeks what I intend to do to make sure that the will of the Parliament is respected and we make progress towards giving the people of Scotland a choice. Right. Interestingly, the principle of self-determination was one that the Prime Minister stressed in her own letter triggering Article 50. If the principle of self-determination holds good uh, for the UK as a, as a whole, it should certainly hold good for the people of Scotland too.